So I'm going to rub these. This is the rub we made up. Now, I'm not going to put a whole lot of rub up on this fat cap because it just doesn't need it. It's just kind of a waste of rub. We're going to basically, whatever's left of that is going to get pulled off at the end. What you're going to see me putting on here, though, is probably a lot more rub than you were expecting. That's a common mistake new barbecue guys make. They just think that they buy a little shake or a rub from the store or something, and they think that's enough to season their whole summer's worth of meat. And that's not the way it is. We put a lot on here because we've got to season the whole piece of meat. All the seasoning goes on the outside, but like I was talking about, we're going to mix this, this beautiful, tasty, spicy, seasoned up outside together with the inside meat that doesn't have any seasoning. So we've got to have a good hit of flavor on this outside. This is the regular rub. You could use either one. It would be fine. I don't really prefer the sweeter flavor on pork butts. Some folks do, and I wouldn't want the spicy either. But if you're a spicy guy, go ahead, or you might make a combination of all of the three. Same procedure. I'm just going to put a whole lot of rub on it. And if you want to splash a little of your beer on here or something to help it stick, you go right ahead. Uh, a lot of guys want to talk about putting mustard on it. I don't find that that's a really good thing to do. I don't love mustard, and I don't want the flavor, and it just kind of makes a mess. And as you can see, my rub's sticking on pretty good without having put any liquid on it at all. And I'm going to let these sit for an hour, maybe a few hours, not much longer than that, because I don't want the meat, this is all salt and sugar, the meat will begin to cure. If you ever cook a pork butt or any pork that begins to taste a little bit like ham, that's because you put the salt and the sugar on too early and you allowed it to begin curing. Um, if you like that flavor, by all means, go ahead and do it. But I don't do this the night before. I like to do it maybe about an hour ahead of time. So those are ready to go. We're going to let them sit. They'll get all tacked up. You'll see the, the, the rub will pick a little bit of the moisture up from the inside. This is the way I think you should season these things. And we're going to put them on and we'll get them cooking. 